y'all hey i'm back with the mini i wanted to make a few more customizations to my ipad mini and i figured i would record it in case anyone was interested in what i did so let's get into it one thing i want to talk about is this case before we get started we have a love-hate relationship i love the fact that when i'm reading i have this handle to use while I'm reading with my iPad mini because I, that's what I use it a lot for. But with this case, I can't always use the Touch ID to unlock it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So just be aware of that if you were interested in this case. Another thing I've noticed is when I'm using it for my planner, I like to use it in landscape versus portrait. Now with my 12.9, I use that in portrait mode mostly. I like the paper feel and look of it but with this one it just seems like i have more room when i use it in portrait mode so one of the customizations that i want to make is i'm going to go to home screen and multitask and i'm going to use large icons and i'll go back so you can see the difference so this is the icons before and this is then when you turn the large icons on so they're just a little bigger they're like magnified down at the bottom Another setting here that I want to change is I want to turn off show app library in my dock station. I don't really need that in my dock. It's here and I want to turn that off. I don't really need it in my dock station because when you swipe left, you have the whole app library. So I don't want that down there. And I also want to take out the suggested or recently used apps. And that just makes it more cohesive to me you can decide what you want down here and you don't have all that extra now I'm going to go to display and brightness and I want this to automatically set from light to dark mode so I like the fact that it's in light mode but at night when I'm reading I want everything to switch to dark mode I have this set on my iPad 12.9 and also my cell phone so it automatically goes between light and dark mode so when it starts getting dark outside, it'll automatically switch to the dark mode. And I'll show you, this is what dark mode looks like if you haven't used it. And I also want to go make some changes to my control center. So in this section, you can decide what is included in the apps when you pull down your control center. So I want to include the dark mode option. And I also want to include the low power mode and my screen record. So I've added those to my control center. There they are down there. Another thing I wanna do is switch up one of the widgets that I have on my home screen. I wanna take this note widget off because I don't really use it on this iPad that much. Um, this iPad for me has been more of a, a real iPad. Like I've used this one for just my personal use for entertainment. I've consumed content on this iPad. I don't really work on this iPad. So I'm going to use the notes on my 12.9, but for this one, I want to add the Kindle to my homepage. And I saw this on Shea Budget's Instagram. I was looking at her story and she had the Kindle on her home screen. I was like, oh, I need that. Instead of me going to the Kindle app every time to start reading my book, I can just have it on my home screen and go straight to the book. So that's what we're going to do. I want this one. And I'm going to pull it up above here. So it's going to show the current book that I'm reading. So whatever book you're reading, you'll have quick access to it. When I go there, it'll bring it right up and I can just start reading. I love that. The last thing I want to do is go in and add my planner to my dock. So I'm going to go into Good Notes and I'm going to take a screenshot of the planner cover. And now I'm going to go to shortcuts and I'm going to use this plus sign. I'm going to search for good notes 
and my planner. And I'm going to select this eye with the circle, add it to home screen. Here, I'm going to select this photo or this icon here, and I'm going to choose a photo, and it's going to be my planner cover. And that made it the icon photo. So now I'm going to select add, and there it is on my home screen. So I want to drag this and add it to my doc. And now I'll have my planner here that I can just quickly access it and get to planning. All right, y'all, that's all the changes that I wanted to make today. Hopefully you found this helpful. Until next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.